Hello and welcome to another special video and tonight we're gonna be doing uh, a third video log building of the uh, all new MU model kits and <laughs> yeah what is a MU model kits so uh, maybe three years ago I started making um, two years ago I made a video of a model kit from MU and this was it so I made a model kit for Optimus Prime and it's an amazing figure the whole building process was hell though uh, this was the hardest model kit I've ever built so far in my life and I swore to myself never to build a new one uh, another one again in my life unless they make Soundwave <laughs> Fast forward about a year later, uh, the uh, company, MU, uh, that makes the model kit, contacted me and said they liked my video of uh, Optimus Prime so much that they uh, made a sound wave for me and they sent it to me as a Christmas present. So, <laughs> I've gotten a uh, sound wave kit from the company themselves. And this was an amazing kit. It was so much easier, so much better to build uh, than the Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is sort of like really complicated, a lot of tiny pieces. It was sort of their first model they've made, uh, high, uh, high end uh, masterpiece esque. But with uh, Soundwave, they've really knocked the ball uh, out of the park. So much easier. Um, the details are really nicer uh, there's a, actually a lot of painted detail they even have um, articulation uh, we do have a uh, replacement guns we do have like the cassette right here that can open up close <laughs> really really fun figure to build and awesome details a lot of details and now come today Dave created the cassettes for Soundwave so we have the MU04, well, well uh, MU49A, B, and C. So we have Ravage and uh, Laserbeak, Rumble and Frenzy now. So yeah, I haven't, uh, I didn't open them up yet. I just received a box. So I'm gonna be doing a little unboxing in front of you guys just to show it a figure. And then I'll start uh, building one figure at a time and um, show the progress and yeah these are much smaller and they should be masterpiece sized figures and I don't think they are articulated or have a lot of uh, options but we'll see as I build so here's the back of uh, uh, Rumble Boy, nice cover uh, mumodel.com if you want to go and check it out they have tons of transformers and they are all so awesome they just released the IDW Optimus Prime and uh, Megatron the um, the Megatron that is a uh, uh, stealth bomber looks amazing they've they just released Shockwave uh, Jazz they've released oh man, I just don't remember they just, they just released a lot and they are Actually, an uh, official uh, Transformer licensee now, so really good for them. And yeah, like I said, they just released the cassettes. I ordered them because, you know, I'm a Soundwave fanatic. So, yeah, so here we have Rumble. In the back, we got some uh, screenshots, nice details. I believe there's only two sheets, so use the box. We can slide it open. We have the traditional MU logo. And is it this one that I've opened up earlier? No. Let's do I have my first uh, tool. Let's open up the box. See what's inside. Alright. Got this. Got the metal sheets and alright, nothing in the box. Set this aside. So we got the metal, metal sheets right here. We got instructions and they are rather big <coughs> sorry and oh just one sheet which is different because uh, Optimus Prime and Sandwave was uh, magazine sized <laughs> so yeah this is only one big sheet and yeah we got right this flip it around like this 
All right, doesn't seem too hard. It's a small figure, so hopefully it's gonna be built much easier. Uh, the original one, Optimus Prime, took me like three months to build here and there with uh, an hour here, an hour there. Uh, overall, took me like, uh, if we put all the times I've uh, worked on it, took me about 24 hours to work on. So I pretty, pretty much the same thing for um, Soundwave, took me also the same time, but I built it in less span. I think it took it like three months. But uh, yeah, these one I want to build real fast because they are small and yeah. We've got a pack of finger condoms. So this is just the tip of the finger protection. Really useful because these are actually sheets of metal. And if you think paper cut is the worst, uh, you haven't been uh, metal sheet cut. <laughs> these cut bad. And yeah, I remember building Soundwave and I cut myself and it was bleeding really bad. Sorry for being graphic, but yeah, it was really bad. Uh, I'm going to put the videos in the description below if you want to go see Optimus Prime and uh, Soundwave's built. They are somewhat lengthy videos, but quite informative. I uh, I highly suggest going and see them. So yeah, we got metal sheets right here. Uh, we got magnets, mag magnets, four tiny magnets, like it's really small. Focus. Focus. I don't want magnets to jump into this camera, but yeah, four tiny magnets. And we have the metal sheets right here. So let's just open these up real quick. Just to show how they are. Yoink. And we have two sheets. That's it. That's weird, but okay. Two sheets. Two sheets is going to be enough to build the figure. I believe all these round things are going to be the pistons and the this one's going to be the whole figure by itself. So, oh yeah, we can see like tiny face right here. Not mine, but Rumble's face. <laughs> yeah, the Autobot uh, Decepticon logo right here. Alright, so um, only two sheets. Uh, this is uh, going to be fun. So I'm going to be start building this, uh, and I want to start, I don't know which one I'm going to start, but yeah, I'm going to build all of them, show some progress as I go through them, and come back uh, eventually with the complete products. So, yeah. Alright, so update numero uno, and um, I decided to go along with uh, Frenzy right here, so I just took a round of all the boxes and Frenzy seemed to be the one with the list uh, the less um, parts or metal sheets to go with so let's start with him so just quick look at the box right here you have Frenzy he's alone bearing uh, jewel wielding the uh, his back blasters back wing thingy I don't know what they are but yeah <laughs> so yeah he only had like two sheets like one normal size and one tiny size so a b it's uh pretty much the smaller one i i guess if we don't count uh um laser beak and uh the dry, uh, ravage because they only have one sheet each but yeah i spent about an hour and an hour gave me the head torso and one arm so it's pretty cool uh so far it's uh even though the, the parts are really small, especially for the gun right here, the, the, the laser, the parts are really tiny, but no, construction went pretty good. It's actually uh, going along right, real nice. So one hour, head, torso, arm, gun. <laughs> and there's a nice, nice detail. We have right here the uh, art model uh, logo in the back of the head. And yeah, we do have the chest, uh, kind of hard to see, but the gold part on the chest is uh, separate pieces, so huh? it's not printed, it's uh, actually pieces. Oops. And we have uh, more detail on the faces, on the face right here, looking good. So yeah, when I were done, it's really late, I'm tired, so I'm calling it a day and we'll continue probably tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna make another update soon. 
All right, update number two, and as it was to be expected, it's uh, already over. So I spent maybe an hour more, hour and a half, uh, a little bit more than that, an hour to build the uh, other arm, legs, and torso, or abs. But yeah, uh, it was pretty quick. Um, the legs are uh, rather big, square, so there's not a lot of details. But uh, yeah, we do have some vents right here on the legs. Them some nice uh, details though. I'm I'm not gonna go a full in depth uh, look at him first. Uh, I'm just gonna complete the other figure, and when they're all complete, uh, I'm gonna compare them and uh, with originals, masterpiece, and whatever. So I just want to take a look, uh, just show that in about two hours the figure is all built. So yeah, not much else here to show in the instruction. We do have some some uh, part less. We do have uh, right here extra thumbs. These are the uh, Focus. These are extra thumb for the hands on the big sheet. On the smaller sheet, we have uh, I think these are just details, uh, really small details. This is for a chest detail, but yeah, there's a couple of few extra pieces, especially the tiny ones. So, in, so in, in case you lose them, you have extras. So yeah, completed the frenzy. Frenzy's done. So next up, I guess I'll start with uh, Laser Beak and Ravage. So for update number three, Laser Beak and Ravage. Or uh, yeah, uh, can we, uh, open up the box, see what's inside for uh, Laser Beak. My guess is that the well, I already checked it, but my guess is going to be uh, as quick to build. And uh, instruction, your condoms. Got magnets, which I'm really curious where they go and why they are there. Maybe it's for Laser Beak's feet so that they can go on uh, Soundwave's shoulder. I'm not sure. It's just my guess. Or uh, yeah, we have one sheet right here that is for a Laser Beak, and the other sheet is for Ravage. So ooh, it's my reflection. But yeah, two two sheets. One for each uh, animal cassette. So I'm gonna start this one now and see you uh, in the next update. So, update number three, and I'm almost done with the uh, uh, laser beak. And oh my god, he actually looks so damn good and actually really solid for a figure. I'm not finished yet. I got the bottom right here and the uh, top right here. Uh, the magnets do go on the bottom of the feet. So, real cool, nice details, and folders, yeah, we do have uh, the cassette looking thing in the back, on the, well, underneath, it's really nice, and there's tons of stuff left on the sheet, so, yeah, the laser beak actually takes half the sheet, so, uh, well, a little bit more than the half, so, you can see that all of this is gone, and pretty much all of the pieces left are for Ravage. So Ravage is going to be a little bit bigger than Laser Beak. So we got Laser Beak right here. And you know, I just wanted to finish it on camera just so that you guys can see. Uh, like I said, the uh, only the, these parts are uh, required to be plugged in. So you just plug these in. So all the front one are correct. Uh, so you just push it in. All right. Oop. All right. So let's do this one right here. Right here, just twist them, and this one just popped out, so let's bump it back in. So, just take the pincer, twist, take the thing right here, twist. Alright, so let's put the other ones in. This one is in, and there's a tiny one right here, and uh, yeah, it's in, and finally this one right here need to pull it out oh, okay this one is in this one is in let's plug this one back in all right so these are plugged in so take the thing right here let's focus can we focus let do it on camera yeah so we take this and just twist it in same thing for this one right here take it Twist it in. And finally this one right here. We'll focus, yeah, this one right here. So we'll just take it and twist it. And now we have laser beak all completed.
and yeah it's actually a really solid one like a lot and yeah magnets I guess we can put them well let's move the camera it up let's break up so the wave right here let's move the cannon up and can he well yeah he does tan so yeah the magnets really are nice so you can probably put him on his arm yeah <laughs> well his arm is not like probably angled up but yeah you know you get the idea so yeah an hour and a half for laser beak fully uh, done and yeah I'm gonna put him here and start uh, with um, Ravage next so see you there all right so update number three four I don't remember I just completed Ravage and it took me about two hours and a half and holy crap as much as um, laser beak was so easy and really quick to build this one was all but easy and quick <laughs> uh, the missile alone only one missile took me about an hour just to make it was insane there were so many tiny parts and I built it wrong so I had to restart it like on Ben D uh, tabs and plug them back in and it was hell it took me an hour just to make one missile it was bad and also I made a mistake here in the back of the head there shouldn't be any hole I bent it the wrong way but yeah everything was tabbed in so I noticed it late, too late and yeah also uh, I broke the head in half like the jaw was detached so I used a little bit of glue stick it in but yeah uh, it was really hard it, it still feels really solid even holding it by the tail it, it is a really solid figure but yeah completed oh man I gotta the paws like the, the legs just the paws is like three fingers per paws there are four legs three fingers each each finger is a part and it was such a pain to, to to just emboss everything in each other it was really bad I don't want to restart this again it was really hard and bad so yeah completed the uh, ravage uh, I'm gonna put this aside uh, we do have a little bit uh, spare parts left we got a missile tip right here and a bunch of tiny parts right here this is a missile uh, wing um, Missile tab, got some magnets. I uh, don't remember those. These are for the missile part, the nose. Yeah, so uh, pretty much all of the very smallish uh, parts are uh, double. So, in case you lost him or break him, we got some more. So, uh, next video, I'm probably gonna start, finish, or uh, something about Rumble. <laughs> Because right now it's like 3 a.m. I can't sleep. I don't have to work tomorrow. So I toyed with, uh, with Ravage. But uh, yeah, now I need to get some sleep. So next day, going to be Rumble. So yeah. All right, so update number five. Uh, I spent about two hours on uh, Rumble. And I've got the uh, chest, head, the back guns, and one piston, the right one. So yeah, two hours, and I still really, 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 really hate uh, doing a circle thing, like uh, the round barrels, the, everything that is round should not be, you know, made into a bendable metal. Everything just breaks so easily, there is no way to make a perfect circle, I don't have the exact, like, round, I use, like, a pen, uh, you know, the uh, pens, uh, cylinder to, to, to mold it but as you can see it's a little bit bigger so it doesn't match so well, nothing fits really perfectly and uh, yeah it's hell but yeah it's looking really good uh, there's a couple of things like uh, right here it's supposed to be a working piston but like I said um, because uh, things are not perfectly circled uh, it doesn't do it, it doesn't work so yeah kind of bad but yeah there's magnets and everything in it and it should just go up and down but it doesn't because uh, 
yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it looks good, but it won't. I, I, I guess it won't be animated. So, yeah, I, I can force it, but I'm really afraid to break it because you know it's just held by three tiny tabs. So, eh, scary. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a break because I've been. To, I don't know. I've been fighting with the circle and cylinder things. <sighs> I need a break now. And update number six, and I am done with Rumble. He is completed. And yeah, uh, I spent less time with the uh, second piston since I knew pretty much, uh, since it's pretty much the identical thing, but just to your side, I knew what uh, to expect and what to do. And this one does have a teensy bit of piston action. <laughs> Not a lot. It should. Uh, it should close like pretty much completely, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the only action there is on the figure. The other one should work also, but it's not, so uh, yeah. Uh, also worth mentioning, this one is the only figure that uses completely both metal sheets. There's not a single tiny piece left on it, so if you made a mistake, too bad, you're screwed. <laughs> and yeah, we got the whole lot right here. Uh, really nice looking lot. So yeah, I do have Soundwave, obviously right here, that I really love, and I picked up the cassettes to go with it. So we can check out the Rumble first. So he is uh, pretty damn cool. I uh, do have a nice look at its noggin. Really cool figure, nice details, Decepticon logo, this is, those are actually official. I believe earlier um, the uh, metal uh, model kit uh, for Transformers were uh, given the contract to Ma Metal Earth which is another company that makes sort of uh, these metal uh, things, uh, sculpture or uh, model right here. So we can see they are a tiny bit smaller but yeah I believe then uh, the MU started making them and Hasbro gave them the contract to them because they, they were like so much better <laughs> so yeah compared to Metal Earth uh, these are a teensy bit better and uh, bigger and much better in detail so we have a lot of nice details back we've got uh, Z I don't know what the Z is but uh Arc model, yeah. We got the uh, trademarks, all right, reserved. Hasbro 2019. Uh, yeah, the don't they don't have any articulation. Uh, yeah, we do have uh, some more details right here. It's actually such a really nice figure. And put this aside. Let's come with Frenzy right here. And Frenzy have always been my favorite one of the uh, cassettes. So. Yeah, I got this guy. And yeah, we do have some nice vents on the legs. Details right here, the cassettes details right here. On the other side, it's pretty much the same thing. Again, Decepticon logo on the stomach. This one doesn't have any uh, articulation besides just looseness, but it's still really solid. <laughs> Again, the head is pretty much the same thing except uh, just different colors. And if you compare, this is the Masterpiece Frenzy, and side by side, they are pretty good. Uh, this one, obviously, the uh, MU model is a little bit bigger, and this one, articulation doesn't bend <laughs> the arm exactly like this, so I can't you know, make it move exactly alike. But yeah, they are. Uh, the, the design is based off the Masterpiece, obviously, but you can see they took some artistic liberties and the figure is just a little bit tad bigger so yeah still cool so let's put this one aside and uh, we can check laser bee laser bee is my favorite of the lot he looks so good uh, he's actually it feels really really good like it feels heavy and feels hefty but even though he's not that but he feels really heavy like probably because of the design of the the boxy design and the thickness of the wings makes it like so feels like better quality even though he's, they're all same sheets of metal but yeah we do have a nice looking head 
Decepticon logo, the eyes. It's really damn cool looking. Got some vents here on the on the uh, thrusters. You got got some well, the uh, jet outtake. We got the legs with magnets. Now the magnets is obviously for uh, putting on uh, the masterpiece or a sound wave figure. Well, yeah, I guess you could put it uh, pretty much anywhere. Like, yeah, you holes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, really cool figure, and I have here my masterpiece, Laser Beak. Tried to pose him as much as I could to be exactly the same, but yeah. Again, a little bit bigger. Uh, the uh, thrusters on the back are a bit bigger. We're missing the uh, Decepticon logo on the wings, but that's not too bad. Underneath looks a lot like uh, both of each other's. The head, uh, the red eyes, yellow eyes. Not sure why the difference. We do have some more details on the neck. So yeah, it, it really looks so good together. And yeah, I really love Laser Beak. is my favorite of the lot. With this design. And finally, we have Ravage. Now, Ravage is the one that uh, took more of a artistic look. Because this is the Masterpiece one. And yeah, you can see it's uh, skinnier. But then again, you know, it has to be a cassette. It has to transform into a cassette. This one does not need to transform, so they made it bigger, thicker, and more details, obviously. And it looks really damn cool. We have tiny uh, teeth in the mouth. It looks really cool. We got tiny paws. The paws, the paws were held to bend and, uh, you know, connect into it. It's just so much trouble but i pulled it off it's really good uh we see there is no articulation nothing nowhere it's uh just a, a block but yeah we have some nice details right here decepticon logo some circuits on the stomach underneath we have again art model and all racers are thingy trademarks and it looks really damn cool, and he is my second favorite. They look really good. The um, cassettes uh, bots are pretty good, but obviously Ravage and um, Sound uh, the Laser Beak are my favorite of the lot. So just like a look, making them look side by side. Ooh. So yeah, and we have here Soundwave from the MU model. Yeah, and we can take <laughs> we can take a laser beak, and uh, if we move the cannon up, we can pick it with the magnet on his shoulder. Looks really damn cool. <laughs> and the orange cassette makes it look like it's boss laser beak, and now we have the whole family. We're missing maybe Rat Bat, and uh, I don't know the, the dinosaur ones would be cool, or the combiner ones. Would be really nice, but <laughs> let's not abuse it. You know, these are the main team, and I really, really love this. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. It's the uh, MU model uh, YMLO49 uh, BABC. So we got we got three kits. Each kit sells for about fifteen to twenty bucks per uh, twenty dollars. Uh, fifteen to twenty dollars per box. So yeah, but all three together, I got them at a nice price, about 50, yeah, something like that. 50 bucks, the whole set uh, should be included. So uh, it was a really nice deal. And I highly recommend this. They are fun to build. Since they are small and everything, they don't take as much time as uh, Soundwave or Optimus that were held to build. Well, Optimus was held uh, at Soundwave, which just took a lot of time. And these grows for about two hours each, so really nice. This one took longer because of the piston that were really hard to uh, transfer to, to to build. But yeah, even though if this one has a lot of curves, it wasn't that bad to transform or to assemble. The main part was the uh, the paws and the missiles that were tough. This one was really fun and easy and quick to build. There's nothing hard to it. It's just, it was a real pleasure to build. And this one was just, eh, okay, uh, I guess it, the, there's nothing hard or wrong with him. It's just 
okay <laughs> so yeah this was the MU models uh, YMLO49 A B and C which were the cassettes uh, Radio Frenzy Rumble, Laserbeak and Ravage which I highly recommend fun to build really looks really nice on display so yeah thumbs up for me go and pick it up I highly recommend it so yeah thank you for watching and ooh, my uh, <laughs> My laundry is done, so yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm gonna have tons of really nice, uh, um, really nice and uh, exclusive stuff coming up real soon. So stay tuned on my channel. Thank you. <laughs> See you next time.